Hello beautiful people. In this video I would like to show you how to make a photo album having free images loaded in from Airtable using the Skin CMS. Let's get into it. First of all we're going to duplicate the field in Airtable. So we have image, we duplicate this, and now we're going to rename those fields to image 1, image 2, image 3. Pay attention though, the mapping is going to break when we're going to rename this one. Uh, so we need to remap it within the skin CMS as well. Which we'll do after this. So we have the three images, one, two, three. Uh, now we're going to do the same within 3D Vista. And we're going to rename this also with one. Now the third step is to go into the skin CMS, save and connect, go to image one, and to copy paste this from it from 3D Vista. And then we hit save mapping. Now we hit preview. We try one and right now we don't see any change. Now what I'm going to do just for the purpose of this video, I'm going to replace the images with one, two and three, like so. Now we need to have different images in image two and three, so I'm going to replace those two. We have something like this. So the summary bookshelf will have three different images, the artist font, just for the sake of this video. We go to 3D Vista, we preview, and right now we'll only see just the first image, which is this bookshelf. Now, to make this work, what we need to do is we need to get into 3D Vista and add some sort of button mechanism. I'm going to copy this button and put that somewhere over here. Let's put this inside the left container and make sure the button is on top of everything there. Yeah. Okay, so we placed the button and now this product button is going to be a next photo. going to rename this to something like next or whatever. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy paste this button three times and call this next photo one, next photo two, and next photo three. Now the idea is that when people click on the first button, there's an action to show height components, on click, it will swap those two out and swap those two out. So the toggle effect. It can be with a fade, I'll leave it like that. I'm going to copy paste this action, one, two, and on three, and I'm going to edit them. So. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to make sure that it will hide the second image and show the third image, the same over here. Let's double check over here if this is still correct. So one, two, one, two, and then the next is two, three, two, three, and then it's three, one, three, one, so it's a loop. Now let's preview this. Okay, first photo, second photo, third photo, and back to one. Now we get into Airtable just to make sure that everything works well. So we're gonna replace those two images with the bookcase. 
Okay, so the bookcase is the second product. So let's see if this is still the same as this one. Yes. And then we should see a dark wooden as this one and this one. And then it goes back. So that's how you set up a photo album with Airtable using SkinCMS. Hope this was valuable to you. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.